In this video, we will show you how to port forward your Minecraft server. Forwarding a port allows people who aren't on your Wi-Fi network to join a server that you're hosting. We will show you how to allow the port through the firewall, how to port forward your Minecraft server, and how to allow others to connect to your server. If you would like to know how to make a Minecraft server, a tutorial will be linked in the description below. While port forwarding is generally safe, make sure you have a good understanding of port forwarding and your network's security before you begin. Open your server file and go to Server Properties. Look for Server Port. If you're running multiple servers, the number here may be different for you. But if you only have one server, the number will be 25565. Select the number and copy it. Go to the search bar on the bottom left of your screen and type Firewall. Then click on Windows Defender Firewall. On the left, click on Advanced Settings. You can close the previous window. Next, click on Inbound Rules at the top left. Then at the top right, click on New Rule. Select Port, then click Next. Make sure TCP and specific local ports are selected. Paste the port number in the slot next to specific local ports. Then click Next. Make sure Allow the connection is selected, then click on Next. Make sure all three of these options are selected, then click Next again. Go ahead and type in the name you want, then click on Finish. After doing so, click on New Rule again. Select Port, then click Next. This time, select UDP and specific local ports. Paste the number again next to specific local ports. Then click Next. Make sure Allow the connection is selected and click Next. Again, make sure all three options are selected, then click Next. Go ahead and type in a name, and then click on Finish. You can repeat the same name. Click on Outbound Rules at the top left, then click on New Rule. Select Port, then click Next. Make sure TCP and specific remote ports are selected and paste the number again. After this point, the rest of the steps are the exact same as previously shown. Once you've finished, click on New Rule again. Select Port, then Next. This time, make sure UDP is selected as well as specific remote ports. Paste in the port number and finish the rest of the steps like before. After doing that, we've now allowed the port through the firewall. You will need to go to your port forwarding settings on your router. This step might look different depending on what router you have. To log into your router, you will need your default gateway number. Go to the search bar on the bottom left of your screen and type Run. Then hit Enter. Type CMD, then hit Enter again. Then type in ipconfig and hit Enter. You will need to look for default gateway under the internet your computer is connected to. Copy the number next to default gateway and paste it in your browser. 
a login box or screen will appear. Enter your router's username and password to log in. Once you've found your way into the port forwarding settings, you should see external port, internal port, protocol, local IP, and possibly an enable option. Paste the port number under external and internal port. Make sure that TCP and UDP is selected under protocol. If you don't have the option for both of them, you can add one as TCP, then add another as UDP. If there are two slots under internal and external ports, enter the same port number into these slots as well. You will also need to enter your local IP here. This may be different for some routers that will ask you to enter the entire IP, but in this case, it's only asking for the last few digits. To find your local IP, go to the search bar on the bottom left of your screen. Type run, then hit enter. Type CMD and hit enter again. Then type in ipconfig and hit enter. You will need to look for IPv4 address under the internet your computer is connected to. You will find your local IP right next to it. For example, this computer is connected to a wireless network, so the local IP will be listed under that. Make sure to check the box under Enabled. After you've entered all the details, click on Add New to port forward your Minecraft server. People within your local network will be able to join your server using your local IP address. If you want to allow people outside of your local network to join the server, you will need to give them your public IP address. To find your public IP, you can type my IP address on Google and it will show your IP. If your port number isn't 25565, you will need to add a colon next to your IP address and add the port number after it, then send it to friends. If your port number is 25565, there's no need to do that. You can simply just send your IP. Your friends can now join your server using your IP address.